Let's use what we know to compare functions. So the table and the graph show how much money a store earns selling each team t-shirt and each team cap. Compare the rates of change for these two functions. So the problem is telling us that each of these represent a function. Remember, a function is where every input has exactly one output. So if we look at the table, if they just sell one t-shirt, they earn $4. If they sell two t-shirts, they earn $8, and so on and so forth. To find the rate of change from a table, what should I do? I should find the change in Y and divide it by the change in X. So I always show this by drawing arrows because I like to remind myself how I'm moving through my table and then I like to label each of my arrows. So from four to eight, that is a change of positive four. From eight to 12, that is a change of positive four. From 12 to 16, that's a change of positive four. And then all of my X's are just changing by one. So for every t-shirt that this company sells, they earn $4. So I'm going to write over here $4 per t-shirt. They make $4 per t-shirt. Now let's look at the graph. The graph shows us the cap sales. So I'm looking at that label for the graph. Now I'm looking at how much money the store earns when they sell team caps. So let's zoom in on this graph a little bit. Whoa, that was too much. So if I don't sell any caps, obviously I don't make any money. That's why there's a point at zero, zero. But what if I just sell one cap? How much money do I make if I sell one cap? I make $2. What about two caps? I make $4. What about three caps? $6. So if I make a triangle, to determine my rate of change between each of my ordered pairs. What is the change in Y over the change in X? In other words, the vertical change divided by the horizontal change. Well, in this first triangle, I'm going up two and over one. So that's a positive two over a positive one because I'm going up and I'm going to the right. What about between the next two ordered pairs? So now I'll do it in purple. What is this vertical change? That's a positive two. What's this horizontal change? Positive one. So if you were to take a ruler and connect all of those ordered pairs together, would they be in a straight line? Yes. For every cap that I sell, how much money do I make? $2. So I'm going to go back over here and write that I earn $2 for each cap. So it wants us to compare those rates of change. Obviously, we make more money selling what item? Yes, the t-shirt. I'm going to make more money per item on the t-shirts. I'll make less money selling those team caps. 